Welcome back to Redbeard RPG and Dragon Quest XI. Last episode, we made our way to Puerto Valor. Our good buddy here, Savanda, wants to make his sure his parade friends are safe and sound before he heads off with us to go fight Mortigan. But to make sure that they're safe, he's going to have to confront his father for the first time in years. Father is right up these steps. Oi, you with feathers, you must leave. Don Rot <coughs> Rodrigo's villa is no place for suspicious characters such as you. Same old Gonzalez, eh? Well, sorry, honey, but you don't scare me. I knew you back when the sight of, of a spot of blood was enough to send you crying to your mammy. How do you know my name? And I bet you're still petrified of squeaky little mousies, too, huh? I remember that, the time you accidentally picked one up instead of a brush. Oh darling, the look on your face was priceless. Impossible, surely you're not. So the pennies finally dropped, huh lover boy? Come back, I thought I'd never see you again. A miracle. So flattered to hear it. Sorry to leave you all on your lonesome for so long, honey. <clears throat> now, you don't mind if I have a little look around in the old place, do you? Of course not. Please, this is your home. Look around as much as you like. We want to look in uh, Don Rodrigo's bedroom where he's resting. Uh, 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 <laughs> Hi, puppy! Mm. Caramba! <laughs> Norberto, you dare to show your face in my presence. And you have come to tell me something, see? I, I'm so sorry, papi. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, so sorry. Disappeared for literally years. Sorry? <laughs> what are you apologizing for, foolish boy? Oh? Huh? You have succeeded in making the world smile, see? Uh, not yet, Papi. Uh, then why are you here, hmm? Why did you come back if you have not yet done as you promised? Well, something you came up. You said you would do it, Norberto. <laughs> You said you would make everyone happy. I did not raise you to be a failure. How dare you come to me and... Puppy! Damn you, boy. If I were younger, I would put you over my knee. Um, kind of a knight makes an oath and does not fulfill it. Wait. Papi, did you say knight? You still think of me as one? You have no idea how... Oh, thank you, Papi. Thank you. Oh, that made him happy. I guess it wasn't very knightly of me to come back before I'd fulfilled my promise, huh? But I had a good reason. Mm -hmm. The Lord of Shadows. See? Yeah. Kind of, a, kind of See, a big deal. How can I make people happy if he is there making their lives miserable? It is impossible. Which is why I'm going to beat him. Only then can I fulfill my vow and make all the people of the world smile again. <laughs> Careful, boy! Do not promise to defeat Mordegon if you do not truly intend to do so. I will not have you break another oath. He really hasn't broken an oath, he's just not finished yet. Of course, Papi. A knight's word is his bond. You taught me that. But there's just one teensy-weensy little thing I need to ask you to do to help. 
I've picked up a few friends on my travels. They're kind of young and kind of innocent. They need a role model, you know? Someone to lead them. <laughs> you do not even need to ask, Norberto. A knight serves the weak untiringly. Or have you forgotten the pledge? <gasps> oh, Papi, really? Well, he was all nervous and things have gone pretty Come smooth. Come on, Norberto. Of course, it will be my pleasure. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest, <laughs> kindest father a boy could hope to have? I'm, I'm sure that's what he wants to hear. Mm -hmm. Oh, darlings! Come say hello to your Tio Rodrigo! Oh, boy. Oh, what a lovely bedroom. It's so big. <gasps> oh, don't tell me this is your dad, Sylph. He's awfully manly. I'll feel safe with you oh looking my... after me, Mr. Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> Not what uh, Don Rodrigo was expecting. What is the meaning of this? Now, Papi, let's just pop this on. Oh, no. Oh. Hey, Norberto, where are you? Hey, 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 get your hands off of me. I'm sure this is not what Don Rodrigo wants. That was pretty quick. Uh, curse your foolishness, boy. I did not agree to this. Oh, don't be like that, Papi. How can you lead my little band of boys if you don't look the part, huh? You promised. Uh, this is not what he promised. And didn't you always teach me that a knight's word is his bond? He huh? promised to look after them and help them grow. No. <gasps> <laughs> well, I guess Don Don Rodrigo's leader of the parade now. It seems. Let's see if he has anything to say about that. So it's settled, Norberto. I will take care of your curious little amigos, and you will take care of the Lord of, Lord of Shadows. Oh, Poppy, of course. I'll defeat Morgan and give this world a smile back. Don't you worry. Still, you like to make bold claims, eh, Norberto? Bien. Return to me once you've defeated Morgan, and we'll see if your actions can live up to your words. All right. But now this raises the question, where to next? They said... Okay, here we go. Here's probably probably a little story building. Listen to me, soldiers of smile. You serve my puppy now. You must do as he says. Do not fail me. <laughs> Please, Sylv, don't go. Don't leave us. <laughs> oh, darlings, it breaks my heart to say goodbye. Truly, it does. But we have to be strong. As soon as Mordegon is defeated, I'll be right back with you. I'll be home before you know it. You'll see. Hmm. And no matter how far I go, no matter how hard it gets, I'll always be with you. Always. Oh, Sylv, we'll be with you too. Just say the words and we'll come running. Yes. 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 Okay. Zavando, can I 
Now use hit parade pet power. Interesting. <laughs> That's good. Some of the people he picked up along the way kind of fight. Like, weren't they like, you know, not great, but not completely useless? Thanks so much for all your help, darling. I'm all yours now, I promise. Lavanda rejoins the party. All right, we got a full party of four now, but there are four more people to pick up. Right? The salty stallion is all yours too, of course. She's anchored off to the east of here. Oh, fantastic. We got the boat back. With a ship at our disposal, other places will be accessible to us. Perhaps now we can seek out your friends in Arborea. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> We got Eric, we got Veronica. By the way, honey, I think I have something of yours. Red, Red, Redbeard receives a horse hailer. Found it when I was parading around the world. Guess if we were really meant to meet again. Remember how to use it? Just give it a tinkle. When you're out in the open, a horse will come a galloping. Anyways, enough chit chat. Hop aboard the salty stallion and make haste for the village of Hoto. Be sure to keep an eye out for our old friends along the way. Okay. So we're going to Hoto next. But yeah, we got Jade, we got Veronica, we got Serena, and we still got to find Eric. Now, Eric, we learned in his... On the right way, right? Yeah, okay. Chips down this way. Anyways, we learned in his side story that he's not going to remember us. He had to sacrifice the memory of the crew in order to survive. I almost ran right into that guy. Okay. Actually, I don't think I fought any of those these yet. Let's try them out. Group of octopots of gear. Calling for backup. Let's go ahead and we'll hit him with a boom. Adjust tactics. Switch Savando to fight wisely. I'm ready for anything. And down they all go. Excellent. <laughs> Diane's all patched up. She'll weather any storm it can throw at her. Why don't you climb aboard and we can set sail and search more of your pals? Watcher, boss. Huh? Back aboard the stallion it is, then? I don't know what he was trying to say with Watcher. I know he's supposed to have, like, an extra thick accent. Come on, don't you know I've been looking forward to welcome you and your mates aboard again? Listen to me getting emotional. By the way, have you heard the rumor of what's been going on around at the inn in Zard's Rust? The Warriors Rest Inn, they call it? Seems like everyone who stays the night there ends up having the same dream. Same dream, you say? Now that's interesting. I reckon we should go pay the inn a wee visit. It's up the coast and north, northeast of here, if I recall. Come on, laddie. Let's over, head over to Zardzrus and see if there's any truth to the tale. Are we going to Hoto or Zardzrus? Um, can't really look around the map very much. That's not helpful. But either way... Okay, there's the icon up there, so we want to go into the bay and to the north, where the game wants us to go. So let's do that. Got a random battle. I don't think these creatures are all that powerful. Maybe they are. Hendrick hits like a truck. Think of how, how how hard he could hit if I had actually uh, set his stats up right. Alright, we got multiple people poisoned already. I believe I can 
after that, though. Uh, heal, more heal. Yeah, squelches. Yeah, point. You do take poison damage in the overworld. Out and around here. Dogs, of course, are starting to bark. We'll take, we'll go ahead and take these little, little fights along the way. Might as well. Let's have a spell free spell, eh? Realistically, we probably need the XP. I haven't done very much grinding throughout this game at all, so I can only imagine. Should just yeah, base attack and go on base attack and take him down. And there he goes, excellent. We're getting decent experience out of him. I just need to go straight. There should be a place to dock. This spot right here looks like it. Oh, the weather's starting to get rough. Tiny ship's getting tossed. It's a wee bit stormy all of a sudden. Sure is. A wee bit. Silvando. This ship of yours is not about to sink, is it? <laughs> Don't mention the S word! I'll have us out of this in just a jiffy! Yeah! <sighs> oh boy. I smell mm. fresh flesh! This does not sound good. Th that voice, where is it coming from? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same monster was trying to eat me when I was a fish? Faithful servant of the Lord of Shadows and ruler of the deep. Yeah, we'll see about that, bud. You dare to enter my realm unbidden. Know that an insult to me is an insult to my Lord and Master. Prepare to pay with your lives. Realistically, I doubt Mordigan cares if we insult him or not. You're the one who'll be paying, you great big slimy so-and-so. Get a load of this! <laughs> oh, the Kamehameha wave. Right between the eyes. I did not look like that did very much. Are you having me on? I just blasted you with pearly gates and you barely even flinched. <laughs> the orb with which my lord and master entrusted me renders all your petty human enchantments null and void. Well, that's not good. Now they've had a couple things like this throughout the game where they say that in a cutscene, and then you get into the you get into battle and everything works normally. No! Well, it looks like I'm getting separated again. We were just starting to get the team back together. I washed up on shore, so he didn't do a very good job of killing me. <clears throat> A 
lovely place. Fish man fishing up there. Odd. It's all question marks. I assume, yeah, this probably this little island's probably all surrounded. Can't go that way, yeah. Gonna be a nice linear experience. This new place. Dirt path, is that also all blocked off by water? Sure is. Let's ransack his house real quick while he's busy fishing, see if there's anything of value. Um, apparently not. Alright, nothing worth stealing. Up we go. You're not a fish man anymore. Hello. Well, well, so it's you. Don't look so worried. This place isn't heaven, but it's certainly not hell either. Well, just don't just stand there. Grab yourself a rod. There's one over there. What is going on and here? What might I ask are you staring at? Is there something stuck to my face? You've changed your appearance twice. Yes, there's a mask stuck to your face. All right, all right. It is rather an imposing appearance, I agree. Why don't we try another? Sure. Uh. No, still no good. Well, if at first you don't succeed, Try, try again. <laughs> Dog good. Oh. There we are, back to who we were. Not settling on a particular form, hmm? That rather makes me think you might not know who I am. I do not. In your world, I am known as the Seer. Okay. I take on different appearances for different people, you see. By which I mean to say that I look different depending on who is doing the looking. But enough about me. How's the fishing? Caught anything? No. No, I didn't think so. You're not ready yet, you see. When the time comes, you will know it. Okay. When the fish finally takes the bait, you must be ready to reel it in. But until then, you have no choice but to wait patiently. That is how fishing works. That is just the way of life. You know... I have the strangest feeling I've met one of your companions. Eric, was it? Yes, I've met... I'd, I'm friends well, with Eric. No matter. We are not here to discuss him. Come, let us go inside. We can save the fishing for another day. Are you going to show me where your hidden valuables are? I do like treasure. Take a seat. Make yourself at home. If I must. Now, the fact that you're here makes me wonder if you might have taken a bit of a wrong turn somewhere. I fell off a boat. Hold still for just a moment. Not quite a wrong turn. So that's it. 
Worried we've lost the power of the luminary, are we? Well, it did get pulled out of my body. Well, I'm afraid there's not much I can do about that. But there is one thing I can say. What's that? You may think that your power has been taken from you by the Lord of Shadows. But power cannot be taken. No more than it can be touched or tasted. He, he literally pulled it Especially out of me. Especially not the power of the Luminary. He touched it. And destroyed it. Still no idea what I'm talking about, huh? Well, no matter. I think that's enough for now. Let me leave you with this thought. When the time comes, you will know. You will feel the tug on the line, and you will know. As in fishing, so in life. This seer is obsessed oh, with fishing. Oh, that's right. You're drowning, aren't you? Yeah. That won't do at all. That'd be the problem. Well, don't fret. A certain sacred tree tells me it's not your time just yet. That tree's dead, so I don't know how it's talking to you. Right. We'd better get you woken up, hadn't we? You are the luminary, after all. You have rather an important task to be getting on with. Yep. Things to do, people to see. Go. Save the world. Saving the world would be easier if you gave me better advice. Other than a bunch of fishing allegories. Or metaphors. <gasps> Darling, you're alive! Oh, thank goodness! Yep, I'm alright. <sighs> Did you guys defeat the giant you monster while I was gone? into the sea back there. We all thought you were done for, laddie. Oh, it was terrible. We tried to fish you out, but you slipped beneath the waves before we could get to you. But then, well, it was nothing short of a miracle. There was a bright light, and suddenly, there you were, floating up from the seabed. Ooh. Somehow we managed to pull you out of the water, give that big slimy so-and-so the slip, and get here to safety. I still don't know quite how we did it. Would have been better if you'd been able to defeat that monster, but I guess this will work. What's the matter, honey? You look like you've seen a ghost. Eh, kinda. You're kidding. You were fishing, and you met a person called the Seer? And they turned into a dog? I actually like the dog part. Oh, come on, silly Billy. You were just dreaming, that's all. You were out for a long time. You have been through quite an ordeal. You need rest. As do we all. Come. Oh, let's barge in on this fisherman's cabin and mm -hmm. just sleep there. Whoop. <laughs> magic in the water that's supposed to say put courage in your heart and lightning in your hand there we go I mean I get my zap spe spell back there'll be time enough for staring out to sea tomorrow laddie come on let's get you to bed hmm The party bed down in the cabin on the seashore to take a much needed rest. Some lovely sleep music. And we will continue this adventure next time. Thank you guys so very much for watching and have a good one.